Hey there, folks. Welcome once again to Access TV's At Home and Social, where we sit down with some of the hosts and the guests from across Access TV's programming. I'm Dave Holmes. I'm within my home right now. Uh, pardon the mess. Now, you know, Access TV is always committed to bringing you great music, great music programming, but we have an opportunity in this moment in history to go home with some of our favorite music stars, to talk about what happened behind the scenes of some Axis TV shows, and to get a little insight on how they're living and what they're doing right now. And today, we are double lucky. We have two music icons. We have two Axis TV hosts. We have two people who are in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They will come together this Sunday on a very special episode of Live from Daryl's House. Daryl, Sammy, are you there? I'm yes. Good, right here. Look at we're all here. I love it. How are you guys? Uh, I'm good. I'm pretty much the same as I was the last time I talked to you. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. Now I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give a little. I, I heard you guys talking behind the scenes. The last time you saw each other, Daryl, you saw Sammy's foot. Can uh, we yeah, discuss he, this? Am I? He just sent me an email. Just said he was listening to one of my songs, and he was sitting by the pool. Obviously, and I just saw his foot. And uh, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. That's it. Excellent. I'm, I'm, like that. I'm like that when I get drinking. <laughs> now, my wife and I, we always listen to music around the house. Yeah, the energy when you're drinking. That's good, man. You're a good drunk. Yeah. And then I get drinking a little bit, and then a song comes on by somebody. I have their number, like Daryl. Yeah. And I and I videotape it, and my wife and I dance, and I'll send it to him. And actually, not like Daryl. Probably Daryl's one of the few people that's ever had this happen. <laughs> <laughs> But the damn song was so good, I don't remember what it was now. But, you know, like I say, you're having a romantic dinner with your wife and a little wine, a little te tequila, a little rum, whatever, and, and a cool song comes on by one of your buddies, you got to reach out. Oh, you got to give him some I, I, I totally approve, man. And it, oh, it was every time you go. That's it, man. I just said, man. This is oh. Okay, look, i got goosebumps. There they are. Look, look, this, look, look. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, like was. my version of that is like when someone I know shows up on like a, a beer commercial, I get very excited or it's like, Oh, look, you have, you know, <laughs> you have mild to moderate uh, pl plaque psoriasis on a commercial I'm watching right now. Good for you. But you guys are in a, you're on a, a higher level. How did you guys meet? Uh, man, when, where do we meet first time? I, did oh, you get the show? It wasn't, it wasn't in Cabo. It was some, I can't remember. Maybe I can't. Well, I came to see you after Cabo with, with the yeah, Hall I remember that. But before that, maybe I don't know, maybe we were on the same bill somewhere, or some ran into somebody yeah. in a hotel lobby. Well, or I something. do remember. I I probably met you. Whether you remember, I think we discussed this. We we did Farm Aid way back in 1985. Oh man, that was a real faded thing when you had the thing in your in your face. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know who I met that night because I screwed up on that show. <laughs> you did I never I'm sorry. got it back, by the way. <laughs> you had the thing in your face. I'm going to need yeah, some more information on this. See, when, if you're an old school person, you have a microphone, you can walk off it and say, what the fuck's going on? But if you yeah. have a thing around your face, you go, what the fuck's going on? And it follows. There you go. The whole world. Here's it. The tractor pulling motherfuckers to my guy, and it went over the PA to 80,000 people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> hey, so Nelson said, told him the story. He said, I said, well, I've never been invited back. And he said, well, he said, you probably shouldn't have talked about them tractors like that. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Got a bunch of P's and Q's at Farm Aid. <laughs> now, you guys, uh, your your first albums came out just within a few months of each other. What what's, What is your first memory of hearing each other's music? Daryl, do you remember hearing Sammy for the first time? Oh, man. It's hard to remember. That was that was a long time ago. Yeah. You can't drive fifty five. That's what I remember. You know, is that, that that's what I remember. Right. Don't me any more any more detail. Daryl the hit. He remembers my only hit. You see, but I remember about thirty five hits from from Hall and Oak because they had hits and hits. And and what I do remember was when they came out. And I was probably struggling with a single at Top 40 Radio and not getting any traction because most of my stuff only got played on, on you know, uh, on rock stations that didn't get Top 40 play. On KC95, Sammy Hagar. And I was always pissed at, at, at those guys saying because they always had a hit. And I never had a hit. And then and then I would, 
you know, go out on tour and we'd be playing the same building. So I'd go, but why, why can't I get my records played on on AM Top 40 radio? And, and uh, that's what I remember about Hall and Oates. I was actually mad at him. Jealous. Yeah. I think <laughs> well, hey, <laughs> Stiff, hey. Stiff competition. And then I MTV say. came along and MTV came along and we both had pretty cool hair back in those days. Daryl had the old, you know, the, the big yeah, old, I, had, I had my rockabilly thing going on. You had yeah, your soul. He had a soul. Rock rock going on. Going on. And I had the big old long locks. So, you know, we were both pretty big yeah. video stars. <laughs> yeah, I would say everything worked out well for the both of you. Yes, yeah. No complaints. I, I, so, uh, so Daryl, the, the Hall & Oates 2020 tour has now become the Hall & Oates 2021 tour. Um, can you tell us anything uh, about what you have uh, what you have planned? For I the... call that the, the world 2020 turned into the world 2021. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. not wrong. Don't, don't single the Hall & Oates <laughs> tour out. Uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, we're planning on doing it when we can do it. We, we, have, a, we have a plan we, yeah. to go out in the summer of next year. And possibly before that to do other dates, but um, who knows, man? Who knows? We're gonna uh -huh. do what we can do. Okay. And there is new Hall and Oates material in the works. Can you tell us well, anything about the was, future album? There was, uh, and oh. that's, that's a little on hold as well because the person I've been working with is Dutch, so that uh, that's a bit of a problem until I can yeah. get to Europe or he can he can back over here. Um, yeah. And John, can, you know, we're all scattered all over the place, so. Uh, but that is, I mean, it, there is something in the works. Yes. Okay. Okay. Wow. And Sammy, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. You guys don't understand. I'm a soul brother from way back. I just got caught up as be a, a metal rock guy. Somehow I got bamboozled. I don't know what happened, but I'm a soul singer. I'm a soul. That's what we listen to. And uh, Hall and Oates fans, some of the best white soul, blue eyed soul, whatever you want to call it on the planet. Anyway, there you soul. go. Just call it right. soul. Yeah. Okay. okay. Any Wait a minute, you got blue eyes, don't you? Wait a minute. Yeah, John's got brown eyes. I have blue eyes. Uh oh, there's, there's the problem right there. <laughs> and Sammy, you uh, recorded and released some music last year with Sammy Hagar and The Circle. Tell us uh, a little bit more about that. Well, I had my first number one album out uh, solo. Uh, you know, uh, Van Halen had a lot, we had all number one albums, but uh, that was the first number one album. And and it's so crazy, it just shows you the, the bizarreness of the times. We came out and sold about 50,000 records, like, like hard CDs. And because everything else, everybody else is streaming, Drake and the guys that came out around when we did Ludacris and all the albums that came out, uh, the reason we outsold them was because we sold hard copies. So we went number one at hard copies, uh, actual physical sales. We went number one at rock, a uh, rock rate, uh, top 100, and we went number one independent label and number four still on the highest charting solo single a, a solo record at uh, overall um billboard top 100 and we sold about eighty thousand records totally <laughs> back in the old days van Halen sell eighty thousand records an hour and yeah. but it, it's where the business has come but it was honorable and i loved it i was so proud to see my album the circle our first album to go number one like that it was great that's great. Congratulations. Thank you for that. That's really cool. And, and now, this Sunday, you make an appearance on Live from Daryl's House. Tell me everything about the uh, the making of this show. Oh, come on, man. This is the coolest show on the planet, besides mine. Oh, <laughs> No, I, I, I love this show, and I'm a big fan of the show, and, and Daryl was willing to come down to Cabo and shoot an episode with me. He was willing to come down to Cabo. Well, you know... Some guys don't like Cabo. It's hot down there and people get drunk and stuff. Okay. And I got to tell you, the nuts and bolts is it costs money to go to Cabo. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. He's right. He's right. I, we, we don't shoot down there very often because it's, you know, it's, but never mind that. It was really a great experience. It was fantastic. I loved it. It's one of my favorite shows. His players yeah. were banned. And the most coolest thing for me was hearing Daryl sing some of my songs because he comes from a whole different place where, where he comes from that his influences are, are different than my we approach uh, our, our phrasing and melodies totally different and hearing him sing a song like I'll fall in love again or sexy little thing this chicken foot tune was so cool I'm listening to whoa man I, I don't man it I can't where's he coming from like you know how's it you know it was just so interesting uh, seeing a twist like that it's like you know that, that's as a musician that was really cool for me. 
I felt the same way. I mean, I love doing that. I like like twisting the songs around, you know, and and giving adding things to it and and taking things from you too. I mean, it's it's, it's a give and play, a give and take thing. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. that's that's one of the magical things about the show. Yeah, right. it is. And uh, Daryl, I, I was watching the show last week where you had that that girl drummer and the guy with the mohawk. Those two, two people. I, I, I don't know the name of the band. But that guy could sing his ass off, man. He was great, wasn't he? Oh, man, that's an early show. He was so good, and she was yeah, great. Was really good. But he was, I was going, this dude can sing. He's, he's singing like, you know, like our old school, giving it up, you know, not, you know. Um, anyway, I, I was very impressed with that show. Um, cool. It's a great show. And the, what I love about it is it's all music. You know, right. it's just, it's all music. It's, that's just hard. Well, it's so, so how how does it work? Do you just show up and get a guitar and start jamming? Do you like sort of before the cameras start rolling? Like I a jamming, but what we you do? Tell them, Darryl, I don't know how it works, but it, that's what it did. That's what you were doing around me. I'm going what? That's what it. Man. We 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 do our homework. I I, I I like me and Sam we would talk. You know, say what songs we're going to do, and then we uh, I tell the band, and they all stay at their houses and work on it. We get together. At, uh, say Cabo or somewhere and make it happen. And that's, that's the amazing thing. Cause it's, it's totally spontaneous. You don't know what's really going to happen. It's total seat of the pants kind of thing. I was impressed one, two songs. I think we did the rehearsal and said, Hey, why do this again? You know, and it was the take, which is right. uh, you roll all the time. Yeah. The uh, first take was the, the, the take. Right. Yeah. And that's cool. Cause that's, that's, that's my school. It's like the second time seems to always lose energy. It gets tighter. It gets and it gets more, you know, better, but it loses energy, you know. Yeah, I hear you. It, right, it, it, Sammy, it, was there was there a song of Daryl's you were dying to perform on the show? Yeah, but we wouldn't do them. See, I wanted to do like every time you go or some of the hits. I wanted to do "Rich Girl" or something. I forget what I wanted to do. And Daryl's saying, "No, nah, I like to go with deeper tracks and and stuff." And so the tracks we picked, I don't even remember now. I, I can't remember because it was a few a couple years ago. Um, I can't remember either. But but we. I, I try and you know d do different things because you know everybody says, "Hey, let's do Rich Girl Man Eater" or something like that. But Man Eater, you know, yeah, that's, that's, lots, that's lots of songs to do, you know. And, and and I get it now after seeing the show so many times. Now I totally get it. Yeah. But, uh, so, but I had to learn the damn songs, and Daryl's songs are complex. I'm a guy that plays, you know, you know, and sing. <laughs> Daryl plays. Well, we can you can refresh your memory this coming Sunday. The uh, the episode of Live from Daryl's House with Sammy Hagar will be airing on Access TV. But OK, so I've, I've asked you guys some questions, but you both have your own shows here on Access TV. So you are skilled interviewers in your own right. I'm going to just take a break. I'm going to go back and make myself a cocktail with some beach ball rum. Thank you. And uh, and let you guys interview one another. If there's oh. any any burning questions that you have had in your minds, now's your chance. Burning questions. All right. I, I have one question for Daryl because I didn't realize that he that you play guitar as well as you do. And when I was playing with you, you played guitar the whole time. And I always think thought of you as a keyboard player. So would you are you a better guitar player or a better keyboard player? Which would you rather play all the time if you can only do one? I'm definitely a better keyboard player. I mean, I've been playing. Uh, uh, Piano I started at five years old, and I started guitar pretty late. But um, uh, you know, I mean, it depends on the song. I think for the show, I like to play guitar more. Although eh, you never know; it depends on the depends on the artist, depends on the song. Um, but yeah, I'm a better keyboard player than I'm a guitar player for sure. Okay. Yeah. Because I was saying, I, I thought, well, but he's just doing this because I play guitar and he's trying to show me up or something a little bit. You know, I didn't know where it's come from. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carol does it all. You, you gotta you know this. Or should I just keep going? I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'm trying to think of a question to ask you. So, the, on the shows you're doing, I mean, you, you go on location with people. What's the, what's the most unusual location you've gone to with, with any of the artists? Wow, boy, I can't remember any of that either. Here we go. Uh, one of the things is I keep going back to Nashville, as you well know, because it's the music capital of the freaking world yeah, right now. Sure, Everybody right. moved to Nashville. So when I went to do Vince Neil for Motley Crue, where am I going? Nashville. Wait a minute. I thought I lived in Vegas and L.A. No, he moved to Nashville. You know, I'm, I'm, it's it just I'm, I'm going back to Nashville 
uh, next week to do another rock and roll road trip uh, for for the next for season five that never that got disrupted because of the vi virus. But um, um, yeah, I don't know. It, it, um, people's houses. It's I like going to people's houses. I really yeah. do. You know, you get to see more of them, and they they seem to be more relaxed. Sure. I mean, that's that makes perfect sense. That's what I like too. Yeah. 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 When somebody's in the comfortable environment, I mean, that's that's one of the reasons I do it at my house, or, or you know, some. Yeah. Keep it uh, close to home, literally. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now, Sammy. Well, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, I was going to ask Daryl, you know, kind of this or that. Like, you know. Perfect. I was would just you rather stay home and be a studio rat for the rest of your life or go out on the road for the rest of your life? <laughs> well, that's a good question. <laughs> I thought I, if you asked me, I would rather be out on the road for the rest of my life because I'm so <laughs> bloody sick of sitting at the house. <laughs> I only write so many songs and play so many fucking songs on the piano. Oh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It, it, I like both. I, I like everything. I mean, I have I have a lot of interests outside of music, and not a lot of interests, excuse me, but I have interests outside of music, and uh, I like to you know have time to do that. And I don't like time to fly by so fast. When I don't know if you notice this, Sammy, when you're on the road, it's like it just flies by because. Yeah. You're same thing it's a routine and it's it's you just you know it's a b c d e except uh you don't know what day it is or whatever which actually is not that much different than the way it is right now you know, you. Uh, I, feel, I sort of feel like time is flying by in this situation because this is same old same old groundhog groundhog day routine that we're involved in here. you're the only person i know that have said that i've been saying it to my wife every day we go Okay, let's go for a walk on the beach, which is something we try to do is get in some exercise every day. And and we look at the clock and say, Holy shit, it's like four thirty every day. It's like the day where'd the day go? You know? Yeah. Oh, man, crazy. Yeah. You're the only yeah. guy because you would think it would slow down. You think you're sitting around boredom saying, Man, this day's dragging on and on and on. Not yet. No. <laughs> but it's the same one over and over. It does tend to go quick. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you, you started a little bit of this or that, that of course is uh is a staple. Of, uh, of your show on Access TV. Do you want to do a quick lightning round of this or that? Well, shoot, I'm not in a, in a position to, to be doing a lightning round of anything, man. It's early in the morning. <laughs> with mother. Fair enough. <laughs> How, about a, <laughs> How about like a, a iceberg version of it, you know, floating right. around the room of this or that? You know? No, the, the only, uh, the other one for Daryl is I know about, you know, his, he likes to restore houses and stuff, you know, like, sure. a, you know, if you, I don't know if that's a hobby or that's your gig or what you love to do, but would you you would would you take that over music? You know, music or, or restoration? I mean, well, I, I couldn't take anything over music because it's like a bird's got to sing. You know, I mean, I don't know. It, uh, it's it's my language, and and I can't imagine not being a musician. I was a musician my entire life, uh, since literally I could remember anything, and uh, I mean, so I can't. You couldn't substitute that. I, there's no way to substitute it. But I do like. The architectural experience, you know, restoring things, and 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 uh, in a lot of ways, there's a similarity to it, uh, where you sort of create something out of nothing or, or something that's been there and you alter it. And I don't know. It's it's uh, it's 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 equally interesting, I guess you'd say. But as far as uh, compulsion goes, I'd say music is it. That's just tough. And anybody that's in our position, uh, it's because of music. If, you know, if it wasn't for the, our music careers, you know, I wouldn't be making this high end. I might, nail, I might be nailing nails in the roof rather than telling some guy. Yeah, you'd, you'd be, you'd be, you'd be telling you what to do up there on that roof. Now, Sammy, you did. You brought up the rum. I uh, yeah. I understand you have a a cocktail recipe that you would like to share with Daryl and the world. What, what, well, what do you have there in front of you? Not really. Is what because I I just did a, another. Um, a Zoom thing or whatever you want to call this thing, and I had to make a cocktail for somebody with Guy Fieri, my partner with uh, with Santo Mesquila and Tequila. So I made a, a margarita because it's a National Margar uh, Tequila Day coming up. But it's what I wanted to turn Daryl on to, which I never got a chance to in Mexico, was that if you make the exact same ingredients, you know, lime, triple sec, which is an orange liqueur, or or contro, you know, whatever kind you want, or use agave syrup if you want, but and you just add the juice of a half a tangerine or a little bit of fresh orange in there with it, shake it up, put salt on the rim, and you you got yourself a rumarita and it's lighter. 
Like, you know, people that don't like that agave bite, you know, people with tequila, ooh, I can't drink tequila, you know. Rum is easier like that. It's more of a daytime kind of thing. And I always like to put a little salt on there because rum's sweet. Rum's a little sweeter than tequila. And uh, anyway, that's my little trick. I was going to make one, but I don't have to make one. If I make it, I might be tempted to drink it, and it's, in, and it's not even noon yet here, and I'd hate yeah. to do that. Too so. early in the morning for that. The, that's the, the sun is high in the sky. You can't do it. Oh, even I, even on a day that you're living over and over again, you can't start uh, drinking anymore. No. Groundhog um, Day is not, it's not being drunk every day for me. <laughs> true, true. Can't well, do it. You can't do it. Sammy, Daryl, thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, sure. I wish you health and happiness and a quick end to all of this nonsense and a return to life. Uh, and your episode of Live from Daryl's House airs right here on Access TV I'll this Sunday, August 2nd. Oh, wow. Excellent. Yeah, I'll see how much weight I've gained since then with this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you look good, man. can't wait to hear your new record and watch the show. And I can't wait excellent. to see you again. Okay. Thank you, guys. Y'all. Bye-bye. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for the Christmas present, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, the vinegar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I'm going to have to get the scoop on that. Folks, that has been another episode of Access TV's At Home and Social. Do not forget, Sammy and Daryl will be live from Daryl's house this coming Sunday, August 2nd, right here on Access TV. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. I'm Dave Holmes. Stay safe.